Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out doing a bit of chub fishing. It might be chub fishing, it might be perch fishing, it might be pike fishing, it just depends whatever's going to take my bait. I've come out specifically targeting chub and I've brought something that's a little bit out of the ordinary and that is mice. Now you've seen me use mice to uh, feed pike during the close season and uh, now I'm hoping I can use a mouse, a little real life mouse from the pet shop as a surface bait for chub. Now we know love uh, we know chub love a nice surface bait and I'm hoping that if I bring a mouse through at a very sort of steady pace with lots of little twitching actions just like a, a small rat or something would in the water then I might be able to get a chub or two on the bank. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm rigging the mouse up with a small treble in the sort of butt of the mouth and the butt hole and uh, I've rig got a small sort of size 12 hook just up from that which is going into the nose of the mouse or the skull of the mouse as an anchor point and hopefully that back hook is going to act like a stinger to hook into the fish. Fingers crossed. I'll be, there's not really a great deal of surface weed so I'll just be bringing it over the weed nice and it shouldn't hook into anything so it's fairly weedless. The hooks are both in the top of the bait and uh, I guess we'll see if we can catch anything. In between that I've only bought like four baits with me at the minute so in between I'm going to be also casting maybe little crank baits out maybe jigs who knows and uh, we'll see if we get a fish so I'm putting a size 12 hook into the head of the bait like that burying it there's a bit of an anchor and the treble hook, a small treble, is going into the base of the tail. Like that. Is there a chub in that little drain, drain area? Shame I should not make it it's weedless. I mean, I, I could have put a circle hook through it, I guess through the hole of the bait. It probably would have kept it on a bit better and would have made it weedless, but I couldn't imagine the hook-up rate being incredible on it. That's why I've sort of rigged it the way I have, so that when the fish takes it, it's a fairly easy hook-up. No, there's no tin there. Oh, the chub be sat over there. It's really dark down there though, really mucky. Like I say, it's not really what I want. Vegas can't be choosers. Take it a bit further upstream. Now there's your purple bit. Well, before the EA cut all the trees down, there used to be. I'm hoping that there might still be some fish hanging around. Now, this is normally a chubby spot, but they sit low in the water here, so tempting one to come up after this is going to be a bit of a long shot, I think. But you do get the odd one here. As a chub. Chub! Oh my god! Oh, it's a big one! Whoa! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my god! I can't believe that. Come on, I can't bring it in. It's too heavy in the current. Oh god, it almost won't fit in the net. Oh! Look at the size of that! That's five pound all day. Oh, I did not expect that. I've been fishing all of about five minutes. And that is unbelievable on the... Uh, I must have been fishing, I'm going to say no longer than about ten minutes. And it's the second swim I've tried. And this chub is an absolute beast. I was expecting to maybe get fish of two pound or so hitting that bait. But look at that. that, that's a fish that I would say is five pound all day. Really big solid fish. 
and it absolutely nailed that mouse. There was no way that was going to escape. If I don't catch anything else this session, then I'm already completely made up. Uh, I'm going to get this fish rested for another minute and then I'll uh, let him go. That is amazing. Now it's just come to my attention that my GoPro wasn't recording. I'm getting into a bit of a habit of doing that. Uh, anyway, I ended up hooking into a small jack pike in this uh, slack area. And I had my last mouse on and the pike managed to just managed to throw the hook in the edge and uh, took my mouse with it. So that was only a bit of a side plan for the day was to really see if I could get anything on a mouse. So it's already winner winner chicken dinner and for it to be a chub is absolutely awesome, the target species. Um, so now it's down to what I was actually supposed to come out and do today, which is a bit of law fishing, a bit of ultralight. It was supposed to be ultralight with my ultralight rod, but instead I just figured uh, I'd bodge it with my casting set open to see if I can get any fish with this. I know I'm going to struggle casting, especially the surface popper because it is a micro popper. But hey ho, let's see if we can get anything. God, it looks amazing. If I've not spooked any off. There we go. Oh, wow, did you see that take? That was sick. I, I'm sure that was a pike though. I'm going to have to be careful here. I'm sure that was a pike. Whoa, there we go. Oh, it is a pike. Little pike. What a take though. Not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. Tell him noon. There we go. Definitely not what I wanted. But definitely, definitely take it. There we go, look. Little guy. Wee. Now I'm going for the little Rapala ripstop. Absolutely cool little bait. There's already a pike watching it. It's only tiny though. Yeah, he's spooked off. Oh, we come back. Okay, that's great. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? Got this bait on all of a couple of minutes. Rapala ripstop. Straight away a pike has absolutely nailed it, but it wasn't huge, I don't think it got the hook. It just grabbed part of the body of the bait, but didn't get one of the hooks. The bait does look so tasty though. I don't blame it for having to go. So guys, this is almost like a part two. Um, we've traveled forward in time, not very far though. Um, it is currently this afternoon. So you saw me fish between about 11 a.m. to about 2.30 p.m. And that's when I had the action in the morning. I managed to get that nice fat chub. I then uh, lost two mice to bad casting and then had a pike that took my mouse. Um, and then I had managed to get a few fish on crankbaits. But now I'm out again this afternoon. I popped to the pet store and I bought another three mice. And um, the aim is to try and get another chub out before darkness. It's currently quarter to eight at night. So I've probably got an hour and a half to two hours of filming light left. And fingers crossed I can get another fish. I try and avoid pike if I can. But as you guys know, pike seem to find their way into my net and onto my hook. Don't know how, I just think I fluke it. I think I just cast in the right place at the right time, but uh, let's see if we can get any more chub. Round two with the mouse. Like I say, I've got three mice now for this afternoon. I'm burying the hook quite well into the bait. So, fingers crossed, I won't lose them so easily. And I will be pretty much wading the entire time, so I won't need to struggle casting to tricky spots. Oh, 
What was that? A chop. A chop absolutely flew out the water for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It wasn't even very big. It was about a pound. Oh, there we are. You see that? It's the time of the day. As I think when it comes to evening, everything just gets so aggressive. A little chub launched out of the water for it, then hit it coming up behind it. It was bringing it in. It's crazy. Let's just hope the bigger ones are into it that much. <laughs> I mean, it looks like really good pike territory. I shouldn't really be bringing it through there. I don't particularly want them. They'll just take me bait. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. Man, I hit it hard. What is it? Oh, it's a pike. Oh, fuck. Tell me, I was just saying. It's like prime to pike territory. Well, it's a fish. God, that look absolutely crushed it. I can guarantee my bait's disappeared now. <sighs> he put up one of the hardest fights I've had from a jack pike in a long time. Absolutely nailed right in the corner there. I've got some bigger forceps if I need them, but I think I'm alright with that, yeah. And the hook that was in the dead bait is in the corner of its head there. Beautiful little pike. I'm gonna have to go down the rapids. Are you ready? Oh, fish! Oh, I've got a fish! Oh, it's a pig! Oh my fucking god! On a mouse! Look at that! <gasps> the perch isn't even that big! Look, oh, the small hook. It's actually a size 12 hook I'm using there, look. In the corner of the perch's mouth and the treble knot. Oh, it's just unhooked itself. That is cool. So, so far I've had chub, pike and perch, so every predatory species on a mouse. Come on, let me lip grip you. Let me lip grip you. It's a beautiful fish at that. If you lip grip a fish, it's best to lip grip them and hold the body, that way they're completely supported. I will admit, grabbing them by the lip does give a lot of um, control over the fish. Look at the colour of those fins, blood red. Really nice condition fish. Right. I can feel the water rushing in to my waders, making me curled. I just want another perch to annihilate it. It's just, it's cool. It's cool. That's good for a chip under there. Like a gravel bar, just after a strip of weed. Underneath trees. That, that just shouts chub, that does. <laughs> you know what does, you know what shouts pike? <laughs> a huge slack quarter with loads of snags. Huh? I am surprised. I am surprised. Thought for sure there were going to be a pike in there.
There is. Got it. <laughs> I thought for sure there was going to be a bike in there. Yeah, it's because there is. Oh, here come off. I wonder if I'll have it again. It's definitely hooked though. Let's see if it'll take it again. It's literally right under it in front of me. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, the links will be in the description. Um, so I've had great fun using the bit of an unconventional tactic of using a mouse as bait. Yes, you've seen me use mice, rats, birds for pike bait on my underwater uh, footage, but to catch a chub on a mouse is definitely a first for me. And a perch on a mouse is definitely a first for me. A real life mouse anyway. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.